Hi, I'm Rodney Adkins with Sitco Water, formerly C.I. Thornburg Company. I'm here with Todd Fox, he's our marketing manager, and we're going to make a short video on the Omni Meter. The Omni Meter is the big meter offering with the Census product. It comes in a turbine and a compound version. It's uh, available with the touch read and radio read option automatically on it. It also has a pulse output available. It has an integral strainer and a test outlet. So all these features are available in all the Omni offerings. The Omni meter has accounted for 67% of the large meter sales in the United States for several years running now. It's a very strong offering from the census lineup. The Omni register in its current mode is in AMR mode or the automated meter reading mode. If I operate the register, flip the lid, it goes to total gallons. If I close it again and open it, now I'm in rate of flow so I can see how much water is flowing through the meter. If I close it again, it's in test mode. In test mode, this allows me to run a comparison test in the field, then adjust this meter if it needs to be adjusted up to 12% either side of zero. It's a wonderful feature that will keep this product in the ground a long time. The test mode is operated via the Unipro communicator and can be utilized with our Omni field tester. This video is going to be on how to remove the Omni register. The Omni register is the only large water meter on the market that has a 10 year full warranty. This meter has been on the market well over 10 years and we're beginning to see it necessary to replace some of the registers. The first step is to remove the security key or screw from the bonnet. This is accomplished with the census security socket. Even though it looks round, it is not round. It is elliptical. As you can see as I roll that screw, it is not perfectly round. Now that the security screw is out, we can turn the register and disassemble it and have access to the stem going down into the chamber. When you take this stem out, make sure that you've loosened the strainer so that we do not have a vacuum on this. This is an O-ring seal. We will stretch the gasket if we don't break the vacuum on the strainer. Naturally, when you put a register in an Omnimeter, it's an excellent time to check the strainer for debris. In a moment, we'll take the uh, strainer completely out. You can take this stem out by using a small uh, 7 16 inch wrench or a pair of pliers. This does not have to be very tight because it is sealed with an O-ring gasket. Once you get the old stem out, paying close attention to the orientation of the stem, put the new one in, tighten this down hand tight, and then a quarter turn, it's ready to go. At that time, I like to turn the water back on before putting the register back into to the housing and assemble it to the meter to make sure that the O-ring was not nicked during this process. If I do not get water, through the stem or around the stem, we're ready to put the register back in place, put the security socket back in its holding position, and the meter's back in service. This video is going to instruct you how to check the measuring element of the Omni meter. The first thing we would want to do would be to take the strainer loose It's a V strainer. It comes as an integral part of the Omni body. I highly recommend strainers on large meters because large meters are big money and big bills. This is the stainless steel strainer that's in the Omni. Now I'm ready to disassemble the measuring element. We'll take a 5 8 inch wrench Loosen the four bolts. Now that the bolts are loosened, I'll completely remove them. And it's important to take the strainer off first because this is an O-ring seal and we want to release that vacuum. So we need it to be vented to be able to pull this out without damaging the O-ring seal on the chamber. Now that the bolts are out, I'm going to pull evenly up on the register housing 
and I have removed the chamber. I always look for debris in the chamber and the, how we check this chamber is to gently blow and we can see the element turning and we turn it over and blow and watch the element that checks the bearings on each end of this measuring chamber. If you listen to it, there's play in that register or in that chamber and that is by design. If it needed to be replaced, there's four Allen head screws that will allow you to take the chamber off and put a replacement chamber on. I put pipe lube on my gaskets so that it slides easily into the meter body and I don't distort my o-ring seal. I'm ready to put the bolts back in it, turn the water on and collect my revenue. I'm Rodney Atkins with Sitco Water. This is the Omni meter. This is the number one selling meter in America for large water meter measurement.